Good morning, everybody, wherever you may be, in any part of the country you may be. I want to say good morning to you, and I hope that many of you have wake up fine this morning, and by the grace of God, that whatever thing that have happened before today, as far as it is this morning, the Bible says it is new in the morning. And as far as it is new in the morning, all things are passed away. Today, you are made new in Christ, and everything will begin to fall in place in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I also want to thank you guys that have been commenting, sharing this video, and making an impact in this video. I want to tell you that your, your, your comment has made a lot of impact. Yes, and every of your comment has been going to people that, that need to see it and need to call and they, and they, are, they are appreciating it a lot. You guys are so much. I want to say in Nigeria, they call it too much. You guys are too much. Thank you very much. And don't forget that we are still doing a giveaway. The giveaway is still going on. And it's about to end. Like I said to you, that this week I'll be announcing. This week I'll be announcing the end. The end day of this giveaway. This week. And the death is coming for us to do. Um, the day we are going to be uh, talking about um, the, um, the comment. We're going to be talking about the comment. Talking about the comment. That very day we'll be announcing the day this um, giveaway will end. That is why we are giving everybody enough time so that they can partake. Because we want people to, to, to partake, we want people to win. We want to appreciate people. And we are also going on meeting to see how we can do the second one so that it can reach a lot of people. Because we want a lot of people to be able. But for now, like I said, it's three people. That's the funding that we have. It's by the grace of God. Like everything we do here is free of charge. Though. It's free of charge. Everything we do here is free of charge. And those of you that want to promote, you want to promote, you want to uh, like uh, um, do, uh, I mean, a uh, ceremony. You want to do a birthday ceremony. You want to do, uh, that you want to be, to be announced. We do it here free of charge. Without birthday, any ceremony that you are doing. Even if you want to promote something, we promote here. We also promote. We promote products. Your product, whatever thing, whether you are selling clothes, you are selling anything, you are into business, into business, as far as it's not a Yahoo Yahoo business, as far as it's not a Kelegwe, all those business that does not glorify God. But as far as it's something that glorifies God, it's a business. The Bible says, whatever your hand finds to do, it shall prosper. Your hands shall find to do good. So bring it, we will promote it for you. We do promotion here. Will help you and promote you. Make sure that it goes far. It goes far. And also, you told me that I just turned in for the first time. Thank you very much for joining. And I want to say thank you to you for passing through this channel. May God bless you. Please, there's a red button that is there. And that red button says subscribe. Help us to subscribe and be part of us. And also join in the giveaway. All you need to do just drop your comment. And in any video that we share, in any video that we drop, that we upload, drop your comment and share this video. And that's where you stand the chance of winning. Like I said to you, soon and soon we'll be announcing the name. And all of you are winners. Guys, I want to react to a video that I just saw. I saw it um, yesterday, but I because of I was um I was so tired after um you know um I was so tired yesterday because yesterday I had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to do. And I was really busy, so I was so tired. And I didn't, because of a lot of lemon bending, because I was trying to make sure that I update you guys of what is going on. So I stay up to see that I get all the all the necessary information. I have some of a lot of lemon um, part of the, which I've not even uploaded, which I'm going to upload. I've not even uploaded those ones. Then. And you guys need to see them. And I promise to upload every bit Though it has passed, but it's not too long. It has passed. It's still fresh. It's just Sunday. It, today is Monday. Today, to, today is Tuesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday. It's still fresh, so you can still watch it. You can still watch it to see what Lord of Lemon has really half fire. They say he spent twenty three million, twenty two three million. But some of my fans said that I should not believe it. <laughs> some said, you know, Lord of Lemon comes out with so many things. He has come to tell us here that he, he give his uh, his uh, wife money. He give but he give uh, Mary a lot of money, and Mary has come to say 
that the reason why he has not responded to that video because he has not seen the video. He didn't see the video. That as if he saw the video, he would have attacked him immediately. And told him what kind of thing? Like he said, why are you telling me that you are giving me money? Which money have you given me? Since I came from my father's house, from house, return back after the quarry, I return back. You have never given me money. So maybe that's the reason why Joy is stealing his money and is not giving. I don't know whether he gives Joy because the other day I had him saying that Joy, I will give you money. I had him saying that. And in that area, we have already got to know that area. But that is not the issue what I have come to talk about. I've come to talk about Joy Sakani. Is it Sakani? Yeah, it's Sakani. I don't understand how people call themselves an anointed woman of God. They say they're anointed. They're chosen by God. And yet, you can't hear God. You can't hear him speak to you. Is it that you don't study the Bible? And you are now being promoted, like you say, you are now sitting as a mommy G.O. As a G.O. of a church. That's general mother. You are not the general mother of a church. And sitting. So I want to ask, what do you preach to them? Do they not see? They allow you. Did they not see that you are? Did they not see what is happening in the home where you went to invade? Are they not what they don't have social media in your church? Are they not seeing that you are not going according to the word of God? That, let's just put it that way. Let me put it that way. Let me not even put around the bush. There's no point. They're not saying that you're not going. Are you not seeing in the place in the Bible that when a woman, when somebody, when a man is, is, is called an adulterer, do you know that? Have you not seen that that part that says an adultery? Have you not seen that part? Then you have to sit down and study your Bible. Because not everybody that called Lord, Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven. There are people that call false prophets, false this, false that, false that, false that. Even they have antichrists that are coming very soon. Yeah. And you sit and you call the name of Jesus Christ and say Jesus is provided. Jesus is happy with you. Have you not still? Is your church, is that ministry? Because the church that you go to is white garment church. Like, you know, and I've gone into, I've gone to call my friends that are in Nigeria, I told them to please help me to go into that your church to find out what those church to find out and they find out that that you know that that so a lot of people in I'm not talking listen I don't talk I don't I'm not talking like, I'm not like I'm pitching or pitching or no 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 I'm not doing that but I'm telling you that he said that my friends there said to me that most like in Cherubin and Seraphim church that most of their rank being gotten they paid money for it. Even in, in Celestia Church, in white, both of these white garments, the church, they pay money, they pay money to go from, from, I think, Army of Salvation or whatever they call it, to prophetess, to this, they pay money for, to become an, a rank person, to be a prophetess, to be this, to be this, they pay, that they pay money for rank. Each rank you want, you want to be head of church, you want to be this, you want to be that, they pay, there's money they pay for it. But before they pay, they say, I don't know whether they say you have to put your name and tell them to tell them that you are interested to be a, a pastor, you are interested to be a this thing. Who, what, what kind of thing is that? Yeah, I have a confirmed friend who is into white government church. He's telling me, listen, leave all those things that, that why is still a brother because he has not gotten money. He has not got money to pay for any of the. He has not got money to pay for all, all this rank, and he's not interested in them. That if you want to be, if you if you want to be like a like a, a senior senior apostle in this church, all you need to do is gather the money. How each one? Maybe that one might be ten, twenty thousand, thirty thousand, or forty thousand. You pay. They will not put your name. You pay, and you will not go for. That's how they anoint you. They anoint you by payment. Anointing by payment. Well, I am not doubting that people are give, giving gifts. There are people that are giving gifts. When they were a child, they were giving gifts. 
But the gift of God is not of repentance. The gift of God is not of repentance. The repentance is different from the gift of God. God gives people gifts. It's not everybody on earth have a gift. Let me double. Everybody on this earth has a gift. But you have to discover your own. People discover their own when they were young. Some people have not even discovered where they are. So they try so many things to find out which one is what they love. So whatever you see yourself loving, like that's why they put it, that's why people made you understand that whatever you see yourself love to do all the time, and anytime you do it, you are happy. That is your talent. That is your talent. Yeah. Whatever you do, you are enjoying it. You are happy with it. And people see it and you are enjoying it. You have to enjoy what you do first. That is your talent. So everybody has talent. So the people don't know where their talent is. They don't know that there's something they love doing. They love like anytime they do that. That will make them happy. Even when they are sad, they are happy. Yeah. Do you know that money too is talent? Money is talent. If somebody likes money, like getting money, money, that is what he loves. Money he loves. I know everybody loves money. Everybody loves me. Love, love. But there's some people that, that, that can that worship it. Yeah, that they, they can worship it. It's talent. It's not like you should worship money. That's not what I'm saying. You can't worship money. The only person you should worship is God. God in heaven. And it doesn't, I don't, I, we are not pro, 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 uh, um, like pushing people, everybody have his own religion. Like here is a social media with so many people in different worlds. So different people have different things that they worship. So everybody have choice. But I'm just based on um she's a Christian like me. Joy is a Christian like me. So I'm big talking based on the Christianity that we are. That are you not seeing? Are you not seeing? Are you not seeing in that Bible? Now you are mommy, general mother of all women, of general mother in the church. Then what do you have women? You sometimes used to have women convention. What do you tell the women? The other day you were here preaching, you are here telling people how not to smack people's husband. <laughs> joy, joy will not give me. How not to snatch people's husband. You that is teaching how not to snap people over. What did you just do? <laughs> what did you just do? <laughs> oh, anytime you wake up, is it that anytime you wake up in that house, it's like you're not seeing anybody, it's just you and level you're seeing. <laughs> I don't understand. The same person that you're saying you're general mother, G.O. Who that say is that? Are you not seeing the Bible? If you are a prophet, a prophet, there may people that sees, that can see, that can see. Has God no review to you? 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 Open your eye to see that what you are doing is not right. How can you, a young girl like that, with General Momiji, or are you telling in your church? In your ministry, there's no one that sees you and like you. And nobody in that church, even the boss, the the head, the not the head of the the head anointed man, or people in the church, are they not telling you? Are they not telling you? Are they not telling you that this is not right? Oh, it's in your church. Did they allow polygamy? Because this, my friend, was telling me too that most of the white gammon church, you see, some of them are married to two wives, three wives, four wives. Some of them are married to different wives. Yeah, the guy told me. He's, he's in, he's, he's, he's in, uh, he's a, he's in a Cherubin and Seraphim church. Or, yeah, white gammon church. But he told me that most of them, they, they are, they are, so most of, even most of the elders, you see that those, um, Apostle, elder, senior apostle, whatever they call, and those people there, yeah, that most of them have two wives, three wives. And it's not a problem in the church. No wonder the church has never said anything. But I, I wanted to know what is this white garment church between. I want to really know, do they not see all these things? And the guy told me, listen, that if not because of the, the thing that it has to do where he was, because right there is 
they are, he's being paid there. He's, he's in charge of their instrumental in everything choir. So he's being paid there. So that was just like a work because there's no work in Nigeria. So if not for that, he would have left since long time ago. That it is why garment church are just tradition, traditional church. They do tradition. I'm not, he has me that they do tradition, but it's not like that many of them, they know Christ a lot. Many of them know Christ. And they, so they, do, they, yeah, they used to talk, that they used to talk, they used to talk, but I don't know this very one, this very joy own aspect of him. I don't know. Is it Celestia Church or whatever? I don't know. But for him to, for them to put him to Bombi G.O., Terra, that is of the church, of a ministry. Of a church. Hmm. What is this world turning to be? There are a lot of this. Don't they? There are a lot. I don't, I don't want to say some things. I don't want to say some things. But there are a lot of things. That is why the Bible, that is why God said, Christ said to us that the, the judgment will start from the house of God. The judgment will start from the house of God. There are a lot of things that are, are happening in the house of God. There's a lot of things. That is why the Bible said, no wonder Christ has seen all this thing and said, I do no longer dwell in the heart that is made of man. I dwell in your temple. Yeah. Christ said, no, I don't dwell. I don't longer, I don't, I don't longer dwell in the house that is made of man. So all these buildings that are being built, Christ is not there. He's in our temple inside here. That's where he is. And that's why he said, wherever the soul of your feet matters, God is in that ground. So you can, that is, we made it for that you can worship God wherever you are. Because of so many things that are happening in the Christendom. Christianity is not known as Christianity anymore. Because of the uh, things that are going on in the world has made Christianity to begin. The Satan has come already to punch up Christianity, to turn Christianity. But thank God that God said that the gate of hell shall not prevent, uh, prevent against the church of God. The church of God must move forward, whether the devil like it or not. No matter what they do, the devil like it or the church of God will move on. Yeah, it will move on. Because the church... The foundation of the church is built dead upon the rock of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And he said, I own the key of David. And when I open it, no one can close. And when I close, no one can open. So who is he that will say a word? It will come to pass when God has not commanded that word. Who is he? That is what I'm saying. Did you, are you not seeing those words, Joy? Who is he that will say a word? Who is he that will stand upon the word of God when God has not commanded that word? If God has put them married for one, one man and one woman, say, whatever I have put, no one to put asunder. Who is it that will stand to say to God, I will put asunder in there? Yes, God might be silent for now. God might be silent for now. God might be silent for now. Yeah, God might be silent for now. It's not like he's silent. Because he created all of us in the image and likeness of him. Oh. So he is, he took all of us as his children. So you don't see a, a father destroying a child. It takes time before, before a father deal with a child. It takes time. Even our own earthly father here, when we do something to them, we say, you see, they say, if not because of you are my blood, if not because of you are my child, if not because of your name, what I would have done to you, you know, like, and you see them before that father will act on that child, it takes long. And when the father has been pushed to the wall, he will ask, okay, I need to show you that I'm your father. Or I need to show you. Before you know that child will start seeing the vengeance of his blood. So the same thing God takes long because we are his children. He created us in the image and likeness of him. In the image of him and likeness of him, he created us. He loves us. So why do you think he will just come and strike on us? No. He will allow us to, to think over those. To, to, he will be talking to us silently, telling us that what we are doing is not good. You see a mind, a spirit telling you, no, don't do this, don't do this. And you think that what you are doing is right. Anyway, I want to say congrats to you to your mommy G O. Mommy G O. There are of all mothers. Of all in the church. Mommy G O of a church. Well, one day, maybe when I come to Nigeria, I will visit the church to see what you are preaching now. I want to see what you are preaching. Let me just listen, sit down and listen to what you are preaching. Because I don't know how you guys are winning so there. I don't know what they are saying. I don't know. 
if you cannot find your own man. Anyway, guys, I need you guys to watch this video and see where Joy was saying that that she is a mommy G of a church. That people don't know that she's a prophet as a mommy G O of a church. As a Christian, that means a Christian. And yet, she has never come across in the Bible where God said what he has put together, no one should put So she has never come across in the church in the Bible where God is saying, where God is saying that it's an adultery. They are never, she, has, she has never come across in the church, so across in the Bible where Christ said a lot of things. And yes, he said he's studying her Bible. Uh, is she jumping the Bible? I don't know. I see. Also, she says she's sealed. I see not tell me that God has never revealed to her consigning what she is in. Because if God loves you, if he's sealed and God, your prophet is and God sees you, then God should have revealed to you, open your eyes to tell you, to show you that what you are doing is not right. I want to let you know that not every prophet, prophet that comes from God, prophets also come from Satan. See that also review things to people. Hello, do you want me to remember you? I will remind you in the days of what Saul, the king. Yeah. I will remind you the day Saul sinned against God. The Spirit of God left him. And he decided to find out what is happening. The Spirit of God left him because of what he has done. And God left him. And he went to a sorcerer to find out if he will win the war. Yeah, King Delibo. Yeah. To find out if he will win the war. He went to a sorcerer because he has sorted God. God refused to reveal anything. God blinded himself from him. God blinded himself. God blinded. God left him. Blinded himself. So he decided to go and do what? To go and seek from the sorcerer. And when he went to the sorcerer, the sorcerer woke the spirit of him and he started telling him, he started telling him, you can't win the war that you have, you have sinned against God. You have done a lot of things. You have done a lot of things. Voking. He evoked that spirit. <laughs> he evoked that spirit. Is that spirit from God? That told you. That told you that even the devil, God did not take off the power from them. You think God took power from Satan? No, God never. God only threw. The Bible said God, He was only thrown down from heaven to earth. The power was not taken from him. The only thing that was taken from Satan is the key of life and death. That was what Jesus took from him. But powers. If you watch when he was talking to when he wanted to tell, when he went up to report Job to God in heaven, he went to, Satan went to report Job, yes, so God saw him and said to him, and he started reporting Job and said, eh, eh, not because of the way Job, if Job is worshiping, you are blessing him. Don't bless him and say that you worship him, he went to test, he went to do competition because he always liked competition. And God said, okay, fine. He said, do whatever to him, but don't, don't kill him. He said, do everything to him, but don't kill him. The one thing is life remain with me. You see, that shows you that the life, the key of life and death was taken from Satan. He has, has no power to kill. He has no power. But he has, he has no power to he, he has the, he has sorry, he mean he has the power to kill and steal and, and destroy. But he cannot. Yes, because when you go through his way, he will first of all steal you, take you into himself, put you on darkness, and the soul you think, yeah. The Bible says God has set life and death for us. <laughs> he has set life, but he said, choose life that we might live. He said, this is life and death. Choose life that you might live. He said, choose life that you might live. So there is death. So when a person goes into darkness, what do you think will happen? Destruction. <laughs> so what are we saying? So when he, he went, nothing that he did not do to, 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 to Job. He caused Job sickness, he took Job property, he did what he destroyed many things, did a lot of things. But at the end of the day, at the end of every temptation, he said, Job said, My Redeemer liveth. My Redeemer liveth. Even when the wife left him. And God said, God said, Nah, it's enough. It's enough. Enough is enough.
leave my side child alone and go away. And God came and comforted Job, gave him double, double times, double, double times of all he has gotten. What are you saying? God is a wonderful God. And that is why I say, Mary, don't worry. The Bible says, keep silent, for the battle is of God. Joy, have you not heard that one before? That somebody can keep silent and the battle is of God. Who can battle with the Lord? Have you not seen that before? Who can battle with the Lord? When the Lord comes with his rod, can you stand it, Joy? And you say, you're a mommy, Gio. You're a prophetess. People don't believe it. Is it by believing it or by you doing the right thing? Every people are called. Many pe people are called. Many are called, but few are choosing. If you are choosing one among God, then do the right thing. By doing the right thing is by following the way of Christ. By seeing the things that are right to it. A prophetess can never do what you did there by throwing all the chairs on the floor, breaking everything on the floor. A child of God can never do that. A child of God can never have the tone that you have. No. Even if you want to tell me that you have the anointing of David, David was not even like this. The Bible said David was humble. Sometimes people will tell me that is it, David. David is it, David is David, David is stubborn. David, is, David is, is humble. David is, because of the humility of David, Christ was in love with David. God was in love with David. God loved him and called him after his own heart. Yeah, he was humble and he's strong. He was humble. He's a humble person. Humble. Humbleness lifted up a man and pride going before a fall. Guys, watch this video and drop your comment. Share this video for everyone to see it. And remember that the more you drop your comment, the more you share, the more you stand the chance of winning. Anyway, guys, good morning to you this morning. I'm always your boy, Jimmy White. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much and God bless you. <laughs> a lot of comments. These comments pushed. Uh, it's just like what we do. Blah blah blah. Mm. I'm very tired. It's just like you don't think I'm with you before. Do I need to tell you people I'm with you? Why? Hey, we. I'm glad that people already know the kind of person I am. Okay. Small, small, not good, they know. Okay. I'll tell them I have a prophet as my doubt until now, see proof. Oh, wow. Now, prophet says, I'm going to do this now for four seats. Okay. In a week. Okay. Hey, <coughs> Joy, yo. I tell you. You just say, be mommy, Gio. Okay, so, <laughs> I want to say thank you to my godmother. Wishes. The love of my life. Hmm. I've hyped up, but you know, for someone it's okay. Do you know what? I know you have a lot of nice wares, but I want to order this one from Dubai. Hmm. Hmm? If you let me on a mama, 